Today we are plating metals onto other metals. So we're going to be plating some copper onto stainless steel, and then we're going to be electroplating zinc onto some carbon rods. Super cool! Welcome back to Destructive Creativity. This is the last video that we're going to have Luke in with us for a while, so I'm very glad you came in. We are continuing vaguely our series on batteries. This time around, we're going to be using the same battery that we made last week for this upcoming electroplating. So we have two different solutions. What do we have? We have one solution of copper chloride and another of zinc chloride. Right. And today we're going to be using them uh, apart, but they're the same material that we use to make those batteries. But first off, this channel exists for you, for science, and for fun. So if any of those appeal to you, again, click that subscribe button and the like button if you want to. Hit the bell, subscribe to our email list. We don't have an email list. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we're going to plate some copper onto iron. So just like copper and zinc will react in to generate an electric current, copper and iron will do the same thing. Now we're not going to make a battery out of it, we're just going to stick the iron directly into the copper. And what's going to happen? The iron's going to be oxidized and the copper is going to be reduced back to copper metal. So when we dip it in, we will see copper metal form on the iron nail. It should happen relatively quick, so I'll stick it in for five seconds and see what we get. And there, as you see, we have copper on the iron nail. Yeah, yeah. So an interesting point to know is that this reaction is actually what made alchemy a thing. They knew that they could have a solution of copper, which they knew how to make, and if you stuck a piece of iron into it, well, it would look like the iron became copper. Likewise, they knew they could put silver onto copper and gold onto silver. So they thought that there would be a way to turn cheap, simple metals like iron into gold. And they were basically trying to find a way to actually do that. So they were wrong in their ideas of how it all worked, but they were actually onto something which we now call today the electrochemical series of metals. We've done some reconfiguring, so what we have in here is a solution with zinc chloride in it. Um, there's some pieces of other stuff in there, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But what we're going to do here is we're going to electroplate zinc onto this piece of carbon. Uh, this other piece, it really could be anything, but we're just using uh, the iron nail just because it's long and that's what we have. So, stick these in. Get them nice and close without letting them touch. Uh, there. Now what we should be seeing is, yep, it's drawing a decent current. And what you're seeing on the carbon, so if I pull this out, you see the silver stuff, and that is zinc. So stick that back in. So what we're doing here is we are reversing the oxidation of zinc. So we're reducing our zinc ions into zinc metal, and we are oxidizing oxide ions into oxygen, which sounds a bit strange, but that's what we're doing. So if you look closely on the... Hmm, that's not right. So something has happened here. We now have pulled enough zinc out of solution onto the carbon rod that we are now preferentially reducing hydrogen ions into hydrogen gas. So we have hydrogen coming out of solution on the zinc and we should have oxygen coming out of solution on the iron. Now, basically what happened is we covered our carbon rod in enough zinc that it now is starting to act like a zinc electrode. Very interesting. Very cool. That happened faster than I was expecting, especially the copper under the stainless steel. 
and it's the best part of science because it's very visual, it's fast acting, and we didn't really expect it to do that, so that's the best part. Anyways, thanks for watching. This has been a shorter episode with Destructive Creativity. Thanks again, Luke, for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome back to Destructive Creativity. Welcome back to Destructive Creativity. Guten Tag, yeah? That's Guten Tag. It.